Hello, welcome back. Welcome to the most annoying portion of the game. I've been wasting my time for one hour in this section of the game just because it does make sense. One hour wasted just because you have to really, really, really understand the stealth system to the minutia and you also have to understand that there are many exceptions to the system. Sometimes you can go through a diagonal, sometimes you cannot go through a diagonal, sometimes the yellow camera will catch you, sometimes the yellow camera will not catch you, sometimes the god will catch you, sometimes you'll not catch you, sometimes the camera will see you. It's just so many nonsense in this game. Sometimes you'll be amazed at how, at how much the game changes based on a few things. I want to kill this guy. I will kill this guy. Get out when the camera is over there. But when can you get out? Also doesn't help you that you don't know from which thing the camera is red or what is the camera and what is this guy. Yeah, okay, I guess it it has a weird logic to it and I just cannot explain it. I don't think anyone can really explain this game fully, especially the stealth. Just go with the flow. You're supposed to go to the second floor, it doesn't work. Go to the third floor, it works. I will try to do this in one take. I'll probably make a mistake and die at some point, but it's okay. Sometimes I cannot believe how much time I waste, so instead of fighting for one hour and farming for resources, I have to reload the game to complete a sneaking skill that I don't even need to complete and I don't even need the resources from this sneaking skill, but again, that's how the game is. Why in the world would you want to restart the game five times in order to get a little bit of extra equipment every time when that equipment doesn't make sense? You have to hide in the bathroom over here. It doesn't make any sense. The logic of the game is beyond me. I think the developers, when they made the stealth section, they just... I don't know, they probably put some earplugs, some glasses. Uh, what else they put? I don't know, they duct taped their mouth. And they just didn't have any extra sensors working for them. They just didn't receive any outside information how stupid this is, this whole row of events can become. Healthy assassin, I am an assassin of the Assassin's Creed Order. Or, uh, Secrets of events doesn't make any sense. I can understand parts of it. I can see the appeal of some of it. I can understand why it would be good. For example, if you try to go into this room, you cannot get out. Why? Because that's how the game works. I tried it. And usually, you know when the camera, when this is yellow, it means you can stay on that tile because the next turn, it will turn red. But it doesn't matter. The color coding is a stupid thing because you'll get detected if you're on a yellow tile and the camera was here. And the camera was here on yellow tile and I got detected. They don't see you, nothing sees you. It's so inconsistent, it's so annoying. And yes, I did that for the extra experience. And with my nine action points, I can go back. This took me one hour to figure out what I can do and what I cannot do just based on the fact of the... It's so silly. What's even the point? Because it's a memory game. Yes, I'll complain every time I'm doing this. Now to go through there right now and as you can see I was in the yellow and it was perfectly fine. It just needs to follow its own rules. I don't know why it's so hard. I'm on yellow now. I guess there's a... I don't even know. I don't understand. I don't care. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Whatever game. Whatever. Yeah, I don't want to risk getting caught by the camera just because it makes some kind of weird thing. I 
can also sit over here to watch the pattern of the camera in case you you'll get confused by it. I'll certainly get confused by it a lot of times. The most confusing part is to understand that the travel is so inconsistent. Yeah, I know there's a wall over there, but you just hug the wall, so this is in a diagonal. This will go through the red one. Why? That one, this is safe, that one was not safe, why? I'm technically on a yellow tile now, and I'm safe. The prize is an energy pistol over here, which is kind of nice. I will showcase it in case we get out of this alive. <laughs> and sometimes I'll just misclick because I'm not patient enough for stuff like this. It, it, it's not... Why play games is not Minesweeper. I don't like to play Minesweeper in an RPG game, at least a turn-based game. But I mean, just look at closely at this and tell me what's wrong. Diagonal. This is blocking it, but you can still go for it. This means you'll go for the red one. What it is? What is the logic? What is the logic and the point? It what I'll do it like this, so the third floor again. Now I can just escape, but I'll try to kill the guard downstairs as well. Or probably there's not there's not much point in killing the guard either. Let me think, do I want to go to that position and then try to slip past him? Pretty sure I can kill him, but I cannot escape through this area because look at this. This will always be red because the camera is there, so I need to use my cloaking device. At the same time, I cannot really kill him anywhere else, so that's a big dilemma. I hate dilemmas like this. Especially because when you go to the first floor, you will always have minus two action points. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I guess I could go back over there and then kill him while he's here. He might see me, he might not see me, but the big problem is I cannot get past the camera. Because when you cannot jump over the desk or go under the desk, because that's not something a special trained agent like us would do, right? It's beneath us to go beneath the desk. Look at that, the keyboard is so nicely detailed that you can almost see the writing on it. Okay, let me think about it. How should I do this? Because I did this once and there's only a Mark II battery, which you don't really need, but I mostly want the computer stuff. I forgot what the console even does. Ah, sure, I'll just reload the entire thing. It's only about 5 minutes of wasted time if I do it like this. Oh yeah. I think you see me, but you don't see me. was so mistaken. Now I cannot enter it. I can only enter this thing if I activate the cloak in the same turn. Look at this, it's all red.
ever give me a window of opportunity? I don't think so. That one only stays red. So apparently there is no point in killing this guard because killing the guard will mean you cannot get inside anymore anyway. Such a stupid mechanic. So far you've been able to go under the camera so many times. Oh, this time. Impossible. The game says it's a mechanic. Yeah, I'll just have to reload all of this and hope and I have to try and get this the first time before I go upstairs. Like this, I don't get out yet, so I don't know how to do it, I don't even care, it's such a massive waste of time. Yeah, I'll reload everything, you saw the rewards, are not worth it. can kill him in front of the camera. Can shoot him in front of the camera. Okay, we're out. Leave the building. I will leave the building and burn the building down. Yes, yeah, so I cannot get the stuff on the first floor. I don't even care at this point. It's more than enough that you get the files. Yes, here it is. And that's it. Yeah. Such a hard quest and you give the files and... Oof. Evaporates. Anyway, let's see what the difference is between the two pistols. Well, this one is not as shiny, of course. Game, don't you mess around with me like that. I hate it when this happens. That's a damaged one, as you can see that the price difference is quite big, but it gets... Well, it's, it, looks, it looks better, but it also gets one more damage, one more minimum, one more maximum. Five action points, special attack will be the bullseye. Home multiplier is still the same. So the difference is 1 point minimum damage, 1 point maximum damage, and then you also have 2% more accuracy. That's about it. Yeah, not worth it at all. So what would be the point of getting this? It's not even loaded. It's not even going to have enough charges for you to shoot someone. Also got the Colt Classic, which kind of is a little better than this one. Accuracy is 4. The damage is the same, accuracy is a little better, and this is better for reaction. Then, no, it's the same. The $180 is the same as the 300 pistol. Yeah, still we need to work on this, and that is like 4 action points. Yeah, this, this is 12 accuracy and 8 aim, then critical chance is 6 with that. So this doesn't even qualify as a replacement for the Grim Reaper, because look at this, accuracy is 4, accuracy is 4. Critical chance is 6, reaction is 10, penetration is 20, oh. stagger is 15. The penetration and staggers are kind of inverted and you only get an extra 6% critical chance, but this will use 5 action points instead of the 4. 
Is it worth it? Absolutely not worth it. Oh well, I guess it was a fun experience, right? We did that mission as well. Why is it so much not worth it? I haven't been to the church yet now that I think about it, but I guess we should just go to the shuttle bay, we'll meet everyone and then we'll end the video right there, because it's a lot of dialogue as well. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So where was the shuttle bay? Church tower? Fatherhood tower? Protector tower, yeah. Let's save over here because once you enter the shuttle bay, you cannot leave the shuttle bay until you solve the quest and that quest is a little annoying. Oh, we should probably get a few more steam packs and some other stuff before we do that. Yeah, not worth it, definitely not worth it. Do we have anything special? Oh, I can get also this chip with the painkiller. Completely forgot about that chip, that will be a good one for Evans. Not for events for Jed. I don't think I even used the first teams I got. Use the autosaur button, we have no choice. I also sell these things because I don't use them. That should be more than enough. Now, where do the chips go? They just stay over here, right? Painkiller. Got the motor, the subliminal. I guess I could give some things to Evans as well, but I'll not be using him so long, so... I guess it's time to give everyone a motor. <laughs> Evans will actually require of the bionic eye. Yeah, let me think about it for a little moment. He has enough perception, so with the exerty... Yeah, and look at Evans. Yeah, not much as I can do, since he already has the dexterity and the other stuff is not really useful for him. Implants, faith, motor cortex. I guess I should have done this since the beginning of the game, but I completely forgot. Abdermal armor can also be applied or the spine. Hmm. I think he'd be a better fit for the spine if I look at it better because that would give him some recoil control and he can use other things. Yeah, I guess the armor is handy, but it's not as good as the other stuff. As for ourselves, I don't really need anything else, right? Right. We get another slot for an implant, but that would be a bit overkill. Heart is actually quite good because it's 2 HP regen, has the stat regeneration, so that means when you are hit by a grenade, you can regenerate the lost stats. Good, thank you, her. How does it show now? It's 3 HP. <laughs> How am I doing on other stuff? I thought I bought two of these. I have two, okay, I have enough. This is a high grade, I don't know where you 
We'll keep that grenade in our inventory until we find something to use it on, and probably that will be nothing. Because we'll keep it until we lose it. <laughs> Why did we get so many flashbangs? I don't know. Now everyone is prepared for the shuttle wars. Okay, so like I said, we'll just go over there, get the dialogue over it, and then we'll play a little more. I wonder if there are any other secrets they introduced there, so let's see. No, you just have to use the elevator when you come here, okay. It asks you because, again, you'll be stuck in the shuttle bay to solve the quest, and you cannot leave until you solve the quest, which is a little weird. The shuttle bay survived the mutiny, Moses, Jackson, Rifleman, a small mercenary unit, claimed the shuttle bay a few years ago, cleaning up, doing their best. Don't worry about this location, we'll be able to access it a little later. Looks strange, right? As it is very strange. By the way, how is our sneaking? Yeah, we're almost level 8. Crazy how much I sneak in this game, even though I hate it. It's my, one of my hate, most hated activities. Well, this is not really required, but we'll do this part as well. That's just some extra dialogue. So let's save over here as well because we might run into some problems. Not be anything because that's the part. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Why did they make such a huge part of the game about this section if they didn't really finish it? So I really wish the developers would have just focused on introducing more content, procedural content, more challenges, more more areas that uh, have interesting interactions and more stuff like this instead of just hyper balancing the game. I think the game was rebalanced 10, 100 times. Yeah, I'm not joking. The game might have been balanced and rebalanced 100 times. To frogs. I'm a wanted man there, so yeah. Scouting shuttle. It's interesting because this one is not busted up. But it is apparently. And he will say something and that's about it, that's far as good. See, they could have introduced so much more to this game. You look at this area over here, it's a whole area you cannot access, but it's animated. And look at it through here. The game had crazy potential, but I don't know what happened. Again, if a developer will be watching some of my videos. Please introduce more content to the game. Don't worry so much about balance. You can balance the game 100 times. But new content, you have such a limited amount of time to make it. So make new content, not hyper balance 10 times. This is Father Nico. Who are you? Nico Mundus is too much of a mouthful. Okay, Nico Nicodemus. Father Nico, okay, Nicodemus. I restock yet. The protectors are sending an army against us. And with us, why are they doing that? Because of the refugees, because they're becoming too strong and they cannot ignore the problem. Why is that? The rendering ship and Moses Jackson is the shepherd, he will guide them. Moses planning to do. He wants to send away the refugees, but that that's not going to work. I have a proposal. Yeah, go, <laughs> go and convince Mo. I read the dialogue, so I kind of know what it implies. The launcher is load the shuttle. The launcher loot the rest. Is it still working? Yeah, it's still working. It was dearer than the founder's dream when we came here, stripped for parts like everything else. 
Give me a better part of the year to fix her. How did you fix her? Let's fix the pod. Actually, I think one of the stories, one of the possible endings. I think it's part of the ending, one of the endings. Yeah, they like him. We have a scrapper. I guess we should buy the grenades uh, as long as we're here, but I just want to make some money as well. I don't want to sell any of the cool stuff that I'm owning. The one of each. And they'll give you 350 for the energy pistols. It's quite a bit considering. Why did I have so many helmets of that kind? Good question, why do I have so many helmets of that kind? <laughs> no, we'll not sell those. I have so many small grenades, I should probably sell them at some point since I... I'm going to use them. Interesting one, pepper box mark too, but we have outgrown our pepper boxes. Come on, this is not uh, 19th century. I will take an aggro steam and oh six medkits, that's nice. How am I doing on medkits? 40 medkits, that's a lot of medkits. Usually by this point of the game I'd be out of the medkits. Yeah, as you can see they're supported Moses for a good reason, the tailor. The man. What's Egypt? Hector's. Yeah, this is a normal place. I'm not sure if you noticed, but these are actually turrets over here. It's not like it will be easy attacking this place. You don't, church. It's cool part, I don't know why they didn't went with this scenario with having a uh, alliance between the hydroponics, the shuttle bay, the pit and the factory. Yeah. I really feel like this was cut very very short compared to the rest of the game, okay. I think that's enough, let's save the game over here. See you next time, bye bye.